This video provides insights into the development of the patterns of behavior or behavior over time graphs associated with a situation. While a situation may appear to be an event, it is actually the result of a behavior over time that has finally developed to a point where it has gotten your attention. If you turn on the water in the bathtub, go away, and then return after 10 minutes, the full bathtub might appear as an event. This is simply a perception because you were not paying attention to all that transpired between the empty and the full bathtub. What needs to be described is the way that relevant aspects of the situation have changed over a relevant time frame. A relevant time frame is a period where changes have occurred which are pertinent to the situation. If you're considering the trash in your town landfill, a relevant time frame might be the last 20 years though probably not the last 400 years or the last two weeks. If you can capture data and plot real data, it will provide a solid reference to work from. If the best you can do is a freehand approximation, then draw one, as it can be quite useful. There are some typical patterns of behavior which are seen over and over. Approaching a goal where something moves in a direction rapidly at first and then slows down as the goal is approached. Exponential growth, where something grows ever faster as time passes. S-shaped growth, where something grows initially exponentially and then begins to look like it's approaching a goal. And oscillations, where something seems to move in one direction and then another over and over. Magic Connections has been demonstrating exponential growth over the past two years and now has around 8,000 customers. The organization has continued to grow and support has been growing even faster than the rest of the organization simply because customers accumulate. As a result, the organization is continually trying to find good resources to hire Though where is the best place for the rest of the organization to find resources that know the company's products and the customers? Support, of course. So the rest of the organization continues to hire resources from support, making it difficult for support to maintain a staff needed to support customers. Please continue with Network of Iterations. Interact. The next video in this series.